Hello everyone and welcome back to Victorio. Welcome back to Best of Both Worlds. And I'm joining here with Eddie Man. Hey guys. Hello to you, Eddie, and hello to you, viewers. Welcome back. We're about to uh, go crack in some oil. Or at least go go get some oil, go look at some oil. Yeah, I suppose. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go capture that oil field. Why is it not in the car? There we go. Yeah. I tried to, but that's the wrong way. Yeah, that's the wrong way. <laughs> now, where we're where we're driving past now is going to be a huge train yard. Yep. Is that why you're driving slow? Of, <laughs> one of, oh, one of many train yards. Oh, you were talking about the train yard, so I slowed down. All right, all right. It was a courtesy call. I get it. Yep. Uh, well, look at this perfect space here between the the cliffs. Yeah. And we're so this is... headed here to clear out some some aliens. Yes, we are. A victim from their homes. Oh, all right. You would didn't want to drive? Oh, okay. We could drive. <laughs> I get that you're not as uh, as lazy as I am. Oh, we had we got to repair the car. Yeah, you can do that while I run back and start with the train yard. All right. Or did you want to take out more bases? Uh, more. Um. Where else do you want to take out? Nothing. I, I think I, we'll I didn't want to. Right? Yeah, I didn't want to take out any evict anyone else. <clears throat> that one to the south is a little uh, concerning, but. To the east, you mean? Call. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Thought you meant oh, to the, one, the one to the east that, of you. That, yeah, and that big one to the south of, of where I am by the stone is getting baked also. Mm -hmm. but, okay. All in good time, mm -hmm. though. All in good time. Yep. So you mentioned you saw blue biters. Yeah. Should I be scared? Yeah, you should be scared. <laughs> I should be really scared? Yeah, okay. you should you should keep watch over your shoulder. Yeah. I'm All right, over so, here cutting so... down trees when I have grenades <laughs> on me. Now you see the, uh, if you go to the map and you look at the lake that's like in between us and south? Yes. Like right next to a coal outpost one? Yes. Uh, I'm thinking the little island there in the middle is where the train lines are going to go past. And is into, where? huh? Is, uh, you cut off there for a second, what'd you say? Uh, that little island in the middle? Yeah. That's going to be where the train lines come in and into the train yard. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, <clears throat> I'll throw a little sign your way there. Right? Yep. And we'll have holding areas right here. And train station, or further down than, than that one. And the train station will be about here. Okay. okay. All right? I like that. So you want the iron to, so you want the uh, copper ores to go south. And go up through the lake then. Uh, I'm thinking like the trains will probably be going uh, up towards you. And then we'll do like a loop thing where okay. we'll uh, do rails around what we have walled right now. Okay. And we'll try to do it in a way that makes uh, for as little crossovers as possible. Okay. So I'll start walling this area off. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Uh, what I'm concerned about it is the southeast corner here of this area. And I wanted to give enough area, enough space here. First off, let's just blow up all these trees. No, that's what I'm doing too. Because <laughs> they're right on, obviously they're right on top of the oil. Greenpeace is not going to be happy with this. <laughs> Nope, not at all. I'm gonna start with and that. Biters, I think. And these biters are gonna come and investigate soon with all this pollution we're starting to make. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh you don't like like me building over uh patches, do you? Not really, no I don't. Alright. Then I'll I, I just removed oh, all the train tracks I just placed and that's just for you. Once we get um <clears throat> Once we get robots, though, it should be easier to move things around. Yeah. 
the um, I think we should call this episode "Field uh, Field of Gold" or something like that. Or cop in a field. Sure. No, <laughs> that would work too. <laughs> I, I thought field of gold because that's where I'm really standing on now is our, you know, the oil. Well, it's a copper here too. Oh, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Chopping down the trees, making sure we're. All good here with the oil. Okay. So I'll separate this now. I'm not going to put any pump jocks close to where the copper is. Just so we can spread the copper mines out. Mm -hmm. But I am uncovering all the mines so I know where to put walls and such. Yeah. And power poles and all that fun stuff. Oh, let's uh, do research here. Where are they on now? Copper's looking good again. Well, because the uh, base is going idle. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't supposed to pick up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't supposed to pick up on that? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so this area here would be good for refining purposes. How many uh, train stations did we want? I know we talked about it, but... Um, at least four, right? All right, all right. Where am I? Oh, I'm looking at your blueprints. That's why I'm not finding what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on. Um, oh, shh, shh, uh, we need to do, uh, rethink our strategy here. Uh, the trains need what? to go the other way. Why was that? Uh, so in order to create less crossovers. So instead of going left to right, drive them right to left? Yeah, uh, no, uh -huh. you, you drive on the right hand side of, like, right hand drive. Okay. Right, right okay. hand side drive. Okay. Oh, shoot, that's going to mess up everything. Uh, no, it's going to be fine. How many train, uh, train stops did we want again? I'm sorry. I got lost in Victoria. <laughs> uh, I think we want, five, I think we want at least four drop off points. All right. right. So four, four stations then to start off with. Yeah. You have five wagons there, not four. Yeah. But, uh, we're going to have two, um, we're going to have two trains, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right. I just didn't have uh, the resources to craft a train on me. Gotcha, I gotcha. All right, all right. It's cool, it's cool. It's all good in the hood, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, sir, it is. All right, so we got... Have... <clears throat> I'm capturing this area here to the northeast of the field because this is where I want to do refinery. Actually, that doesn't fit, so let's do you. Okay, here we go. We talked about this between episodes, but uh, because of the lack of coal, available to us at the moment we we were gonna transition to solid fuel for trains uh yes because uh we have to uh that's another thing we have to do is venture out for coal it doesn't look like we have any luck with in that area in that department anytime soon no so and then the biters are really starting to encroach so I'm just getting all the oil researchers out of the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have 
Oh, I didn't bring power over here. Should have brought power poles as we were coming over here. You didn't bring any? No, I know. I have them, but I, I didn't, like, build the power poles in this direction. So All right. I'm going to have to backtrack and do that now. Uh, do we want um, output on both sides of the train or just one? Uh, probably both sides to increase... Uh... Throughput? Yeah. All right. Oh, I like that blueprint. You can steal it. Like I stole it. I uh, I, uh, w I uh, have no idea what you're talking about. All right. Mm. <laughs> that makes one of us. Do you put the, on the blueprint, do you put the train down or you take the train off? The train tracks off. What? When you set a blueprint on train tracks, mm -hmm. do you add... On the preview of the blueprint, do you leave the tracks there or do you take the tracks off? I leave them. Okay. Some people, some people, do do, do differently. They're not standing on the tracks right now. Yeah, yeah. I. I don't know. I'm just. It's. Most of the train tracks I've stolen have been. <laughs> with train tracks on them. Exactly. Uh, this is a four wagon, but it could be modified for two. So. Train. Oh, station. Station. Taking that blueprint and putting it in here. Well, actually, I should put it. In the Shoot, doesn't doesn't add up. Ah, crapsicle. <clears throat> What's that? The blueprint. It doesn't line up with where the train stops. Oh, so you have to rebuild it. Yeah. We don't have access to the stack inserter yet. I know. I know. In order, we have blue belts. By the way. Yeah. It's funny that you can place it though in the blueprint. Yeah. Uh, and also, this is input, so. Yeah. What, what just happened? What's that? I don't know. I just entered the. Entered the, the map. I guess I just probably clicked the minimap. Something. Oh. So I think I'm going to tap from here. It's not going to let me tap from there because of this puny power pole there, which wasn't not even necessary. Okay. Uh, this is only a temporary line right now. We can take this down later uh, if we run power through the tracks, the, the train lines. Mm -hmm. But I just need power to go to... I need to get power to go to the outpost. Stupid cliffs. <laughs> Yep. Not sure I'm only gonna hide some of them in the trees. Okay. A few more. Yeah, my viewers are like, oh we're watching you lay down power poles. How fun is this? <laughs> Well, uh, my viewer is going to be like, uh, is this really what we're watching? Some guy trying to make a blueprint fit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
thought I crafted more of those. All right. Well, anyways. All right. I guess we're just uh, going to use uh, fast inserters while we don't have any stack ones. Okay. And uh, train trains are now looking different than we were planning on doing them. It's now one for one. One for one. For okay, for reasons. Works. <laughs> that works. Yeah, I'm ha I'm happy to hear you say that because this, this uh, is Victorian. It's gonna change. Uh, on the regular. Crazy. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm happy we're in agreement. This, uh, this, uh, copper slash oil, uh, post is going to be easy. It's going to be, uh, easier to defend than we thought. Because there's a lot of cliffs here. Yeah. That usually helps. So. Okay, make sure I can't get in this way. I can't get in there. Just closing up all the gaps here. Oh, this is a one big cliff here. Oh, wow. Actually, we could just make this all our base. That might not be a bad idea. Hmm? This might not be a bad I mean, I don't know if you're going to like this idea or not, but... Where I'm standing here, this is all one big cliff face. If I just walled this area... Let me get some grenades here. If I just wall off this choke point here... Uh, let's do... If you look to your north there, you can also wall up and connect it up over where, where CAG is, my logo. Oh, and just capture all the trees here, right? Mm-hmm. There's an open space. Well, it's hard to see because it's dark time. It's night out, but... I see. Um, so the trees are here. We just capture all this and this cliff line here. There's another cliff there. I feel like yeah, the so we, don't have to, we don't have to waste all these walls. We can use these cliffs to help wall our base too. Because mm -hmm. the binders can't destroy the cliffs, and as long as we don't use the cliff explosives, we're good on them. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. Um, all right, let's. I'll figure this out. We did this. Okay. So we want to capture this stone right away. Yeah, it, it it's easier to do it now than later on with this when there's spiders around. Sure, sure. <laughs> I agree with you. On that much, at least. On this, we are agreed. And this looks like it's enough stone for the rest of the game. So we're going to take this. Ah, oh, shoot. You know the prank I was running on you? With uh, the belts and everything not being limited? Yep. Yeah, it's coming back to bite me. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I might add. <laughs> coming back to bite you? Yeah. Uh, no, not this wall. Let's 
So this is a very, very, very uh, crazy move here that I'm about to do, but you know what? Let's do it. Do we want to transition to solar panel pretty quickly in order to save coal? Or... Probably, yeah. All right, I'll... But then that's going to that's gonna be... Uh... Uh, did I research solar panel yet? No. No, I didn't. I'll start it. Okay. Look at what I'm doing here. Uh, maybe not that much. We're so uh, caught up in what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree with you on that one. Uh... <laughs> Alright, this is a, an aggressive land grab here, but I think it's going to be good for, in the long run. Alright. What I'm doing here. Because it's the the whole concept of this is that it's going to be heavily train oriented, right? Yep. Yeah, but that does, that doesn't mean we can't use this space to mine stone for the rest of the game. No, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Because <laughs> we're going to need a lot of stone. The base is also going to be sort of modulated, m modular, so that you, um, you know, in a sense, we could probably like blueprint the different modules eventually, and basically have several parts of, or each blueprint being one part of a bigger base. Exactly. Meaning you'll I you'll get watch, everything yeah. you need in order to uh, finish off the game. I've run out of walls. I got, uh, well, I don't, I have a few hundred on me, but you're nowhere near me, oh. so never mind. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna scratch that for now, and I'm gonna put down this copper outpost before this out episode is, uh, done. Let's see, do I have a blueprint for mining drills? Yes, I do. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do it here. Okay, I'm just going to blueprint this whole copper post. Keep, I keep falling silent here. I don't know why. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm lost for words. That's probably why. <laughs> yeah, we're all we're all focusing on what we're doing here. Yeah, <laughs> making for an interesting watch. <laughs> yep. So I'm completely ignoring the oil right now. And I'm just pla placing down the minefield, the, m the miners from mm -hmm. copper. You know, they're, they're ghost images, so we know or the idea what this is going to look like. Yeah, sure.
I'm placing. Obviously, I'm placing belts. Obviously, this is okay. Hmm? Obviously, this is not not going to be enough copper for the whole game. Okay. Is it not? Isn't it like millions? Oh, One point six. All right. wasn't Wasn't that as rich as I thought it was? Yeah. yeah. Um. Then remember, the end game is like crazy copper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crazy copper. Um. Green, Heavy. So. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> now it looks like I'm gonna need some here, some there, here. Yes. But this is a good. This is a good. Uh, a good start for one of our major copper fields. Yeah, and it's gonna bring us. Probably gonna carry us until late game. Yep. <laughs> we say that now, and then like <clears throat> twenty episodes from now, I'm gonna be like, "Remember what we said about that yeah. copper field?" <laughs> oh, mass mass production produced ten k electronic circuits achievement. I just got. Okay. Just fixing some of these things that we don't need. Okay. All right. So that's the plan for the copper field. Co uh, copper we'll field. And, yeah. <laughs> we'll go uh, since we're running out of time here. We'll go ahead and construct uh, some of this outpost while um, we're in between episodes. All right, uh, but I do want to run back uh, and grab some supplies, and I misplaced where the car is. It's the story of my life. I even had a comment on one of my videos. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> uh, "Where did I place the car?" It's about all this episode is about <laughs> loving it. <laughs> I, I found it. Tell me by where you are. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Closer to you. I can I can drive it back though if you want me to. No, I'm good. I'm I'm good. I'm walking back to the base to grab supplies. All right. And I think that's where I think that's where we sh can wrap up this episode. All right. Sounds like a plan. I'm also running for supplies at the moment. <clears throat> All right. What did I just do? I'm running right past the stone that I need for the walls. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't think I can carry that many. Do one more stack. Okay, um, what else do I need? I needed plenty of ammo. Okay, power poles? You mentioned power poles? Did... No, I had the I had the power poles. All right. I, was, I ran out of walls. All right, all right. All right. You want to go ahead and wrap this up? You want me to wrap it up here? Yeah. Or do we want to do it over by the epilepsy area where everything is blinking? <laughs> <laughs> That's. Let's do it over here. <laughs> okay, first oh, one. Is this? Roboport? Nice. Prepare for the future. Yeah. As always. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We want to thank you guys so much for joining us in this episode of Factorio. That's the both worlds. Uh, if you have any other questions, or if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below in the uh, not the description. In the comment section, um, and don't forget to hit us up on the Discord uh, server, uh, either at Completely Average Gaming or at Eighty Man Plays uh, for continuing coverage and continuing discussion on the series. Um, and do you have any of the last-minute comments? I'm looking forward to the next episode. 
getting some trains uh, yeah. running hopefully maybe yeah possibly get some trains going <laughs> get some more copper flowing to the base right yeah oh which makes me thinking maybe we should have started with another uh, train station than the one I'm working on right now. But, you know. Oh, that's fine. It, it, <laughs> it's it's for the future. We yeah. Can scale it. Yeah, future-proofing it. Part of it and then, exactly. Yep. All right, guys. Well, again, thank you guys so much for joining us. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Cheerio.